Hello and welcome back to my channel. That is Deb Snell's 48th World, where we get down and talk with one another. Remember, it's a family affair. It's a family affair. Okay, thank you for your support, your continued support, and thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share my videos, and of course, Continue to subscribe, 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 like and share, okay? But here we go with another salacious story. Yes, but before I get to the story again, I want to say I'm trying to get to that 10,000 mark before June 2020. So if you can help me out, please do so. How you can help me out is tell other people, meaning share my videos on your social media feeds, like my videos. And definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Truly would appreciate it. Okay, but now we're going to talk about Cynthia. Cynthia Bailey, that is, and her many, many men. Well, only three that she, we know about that they seem to have kind of swept her to the wayside. Yes, we're talking about Leon. Yes, we're talking about Peter. And now we got the opportunist, Mike Hill. And in those couple of pictures that we just saw, well, this was especially... Uh, we're going to focus on because if he's supposed to be so in love with her and he, uh, she's supposed to be in love with him, why are they so far apart? Why the distance? She's supposed to be all over him trying to see what he's going to say about her. Okay, at least close in proximity to him. But, child, please, it looks like Cynthia Bailey is getting very tired. I don't know if it's because she wears makeup so heavily uh, and it's just like, diminishing her real true natural beauty i don't know it just seems like she looks tired 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 and he still look refreshed 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 see in these pictures she's heavily make made up and she looks glamorous but in the shots before that i showed you all initially coming on to the video she looked tired i mean tired 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 and that's because sometimes the things that you want may not be good for you it seems like she's looking more tired than she was before she got hooked up with my kill. Now, that should tell her. That's a telltale sign. But let's get on into this video. It's from Atlanta Black Star. Yes. And my girl, none other than Kirsten Willis is over there putting out, banging out, shooting out all the salacious stories. And I'm so proud of her giving me something to talk about. Of course. We're going to go into it. Her title is, It's Pretty Cool. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bader and fiance Mike Hill land new dating show inspired by their love. Now, no pun, in no pun intended, but I got to say it. What love? What length of a romance did they have to be inspired of creating a dating show? Is it because she met him on Steve Harvey's dating show? Uh, no, I think that was prefabricated. She had already met this man on a podcast, from my understanding, uh, from the ATL -N and other blog sources around here in the ATL, okay? And it has been on the uh, radio with uh, V103, one of the urban black, um, D not DJs, but um, radio shows we have here in Atlanta. They already said it. They were going through the uh, radio station saying, no, Cynthia had already met this man through Claudia Jordan or some uh, podcasting. But anyway, we're going to let them fake the phone, whatever. But you start with a lie. You're going to have the middle of a lie. You're going to end with a lie. Okay, remember the two men that already surfaced out of your life in and out in some form or fashion, but not with you. That's Leon. That's Peter. And then we have the opportunist, Mike Hill. Okay, Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. Again, look at the pictures, baby. You ain't nowhere near him. I mean, you should at least be holding his hand. He should be holding yours, but it is what it is. Maybe you should stay single, Cynthia. You still got a lot of time. Your wedding date is not until 10, 10, 20, okay? So, heads up, Cynthia. Keep looking your best, doing your best. Think more so for you and your daughter and not this man, this opportunist and his other two kids, okay, that you're going to be helping him take care of. Did you ever think about that, honey? You didn't just gain one person. You gained two other people plus your daughter you already have. Woohoo! 
Too much for me. Too much. Too much. Too little. Too late, honey. One thing you should be thinking about now is just living with your man, whether you marry him or not. You know, I would love to see you married, not him, but yeah, married and living your best life. But girl, you don't inherit. Oh, you don't inherit two other children from this man. Mm. Okay. Allegedly, because you're not really married to him as of yet, but it's giving you something to think about. Okay. But anyway, going back to the story. It says, Cynthia Bailey is known to turn out a business and with her new fiance, Mike Hill, they're making their romance into a movie, a money maker while helping singles in the process. I'm telling all singles who can hear me in the lands and across the lands, don't go to Cynthia Bailey. Don't don't pimp yourself out and go get on one of her talk shows. It's almost like her and Mike Hill setting up a show like you would get off of eHarmony or what's that on? You know, those single Dating apps. Oh, Chicago. oh my goodness. I had them at the tip of my tongue. I can't remember them. But uh, y'all know the ones I'm talking about. Bumblebee. Um, eHarmony. Uh, singles Over 50. It's a major one that a lot of people, um, I think, have went on before. But it ain't nothing but a bunch of trash. A cesspool. I can't think of it right now, but I'm sure y'all can get them them comments. Y'all can tell me the one, the number one um, web dating site that most people enter in, you know, without having to have to pay a fee or whatnot. I can't think of it right now, but you know, when I finish a video, I'll think of it. But anyway, um, plenty of fish. That's where we go. Plenty of fish. Stay away from that. That ain't nothing but a cesspool, okay? Stay away from plenty of fish. I know from experience, ain't nothing but a bunch of liars on there. Jokers ain't got nothing. They got women, got wives and everything else. They just want a, 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 a thought. That's what they're looking for, a thought women that they can take advantage of. So if you got any cool about yourself, don't get messed up with POF. Don't get messed up with none of them out there, okay? Just, you know, pray to the Lord and just live your day every day like it's your best life. And I'm sure you're going to attract the right one that you're looking for. Okay. And maybe not who you're looking for, but it might turn out to be a connection and it's not costing you anything. Okay. Because I strongly believe if it's something Mike putting out, he's going to charge you for services of getting um hooked up. Okay. But that's just my thought, my opinion. I just look at him as a scam. Every time he opened up his mouth, I, I be thinking, contemplating uh, lies coming out. And I know that's wrong, but I'm just saying the essence that I get from him is not good. But okay, getting back to the article, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta star once famously said she'll never get married again after ending her seven year marriage to Peter Thomas. But the star wound up finding love again with Hill last spring and got engaged this July. It's such a blessing that we are able to find love again. Bailey explains exclusively, exclusively to Atlanta Black Star beginning at the 2.30 mark. We actually have a new show we just got a development deal for. It's called The Hookup. And we want to take our love and experience and excitement and actually help other people meet people. So stay tuned for that. We're in the early stages for that. And the great thing is we're going to be hosting the show. A dating game, he adds. It's pretty cool because we kind of met well. We did meet on a dating show, the model says. And now we are filming a dating show where we hook other people up. Okay, see, like I told you, it's just a joke, just a jokey joke type of format you're going to go on. It's almost like, not le like Let's Make a Deal, but it was some kind of show back, you know, 50s and 60s, well, 60s and 70s type of setting where you go and, and it was not a Let's Make a Deal. Oh, God, the newlywed game is similar to what they're doing, but they already married. But uh, and there's another show probably in the 80s they had brought out where you can go on and meet people and, and, and uh, try to make a love I think that's what it was it's called love connection, y'all. Yeah, so it ain't nothing new uh uh Mike Hill and Cynthia bringing out. They just uh rebranding shit that already been there. You know, nothing that's new under the sun. Everything's just revolving around, around, around. Oh Lord, I tell you same thing. We we goops out here. She ain't gooping me. She better be looking at herself and praying to the true Almighty Lord for her. And her peace of mind. Cause that man, I told you, he got her looking tired. He got her looking tired around here, honey. A no good man would have you doing that. Instead of him having you glowing and looking like your best life. Okay, like a newborn baby. Might got her looking like somebody old shattered, uh, what do you call it? Uh, widowed wife down here. But anyway, that's just my feel. It's my tape. The pictures speak more than I can ever speak. Okay. 
on the subject. But getting back to this article, it says it's pretty cool because we kind of met where we did meet on a dating show, the model says, and now we are filming a dating show where we hook we hook up other people, okay? Call the hook up. Lord have mercy. Okay, that dating show was actually a segment on Steve where host of Ukari lined up three potential suitors for the Real Housewives of Atlanta started begin seeing. Uh, Bailey, however, initially had her reservations about Hill since he is based in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, where he works for Fox Sports One. Harvey later told Entertainment Tonight he was instrumental in bringing them together. And Lord knows what Steve Harvey brand together, man, showed the uh, uh, uh separated. Okay, <laughs> because Lord, he has been married how many times? I want to say three. I might be wrong. It might be four. And child, please, he wasn't nothing but a bully, especially to that last. He just ran to the ground. But like I say, I believe every dog gets their day. And they get to definitely get back. Uh, they get to be on the receiving end of what they gave out for the negative. So karma is full circle. So Steve, you better watch out. You might be living with your Jezebel that's going to take you down because you don't took all these other women down prior to her. Okay, this is my word of advice to you. All right, everything done in the dark will come to light. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Okay, anyway, we go back to the article. It says, uh, Cynthia Bailey was going to pick somebody else. He told E.T., I told her, you're not picking that guy. You're going to pick this guy, referring to Hill. See what I'm saying? He messed Cynthia up. She could have been already on Easy Street, floating with somebody that probably going to treat her much better than Mike Hill could already ever do for her but see she was following the right path steve you know set her to the wrong path and the rest is going to be history it's going to be unfolding as we speak as time goes on okay but you call steve your friend oh well okay moving back oh, over to the article it says bailey teased her fans last summer that she was in love but wouldn't give any information on who her mystery man was honey you could blow past Cynthia and she'll fall in love with you. I don't know what's going on with Cynthia. But anyway, moving back, it says, once I realized this was the man that I had wanted to be with for the rest of my life, I became very protective. To be very honest with you, Bailey tells Atlanta about stars. So how did I deal with it? The Real Housewives of Atlanta cast knew. At that point, they knew I was very serious about him. So didn't nobody try? Now, nobody really tried me, okay? Bailey added that she never thought she would marry again, but also gave a stunning revelation about her general outlook on romance. I didn't ever think I would ever marry again or even find love again, she says. I figured I'll meet somebody after my divorce, but I didn't think I would be talking about marriage. And for me, that's exciting, and I do like sharing my excitement with the world. As for he outlook on love, he's encouraged people not to give up on the idea of obtaining it. No matter how old you are or how young you are, don't ever feel like that there isn't somebody that is just for you that God is sending for you that's put in your path that can spend the rest of your life with, he says. Okay, I bet he did say that, but I say this to wrap up this video. Remember, Steve said she was going to pick somebody else. He told her, no, you're going to pick this guy. So I'm like, okay, what is this Illuminati type of shit? Okay, you date who I tell you to do, and that's what it is because the elite has spoken. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think about this video. I just gave you my critique, my commentary on how I felt about this subject matter that Atlanta Black Star Kirsten Willis wrote her article on. So now y'all, it's your time to get into those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. Put your spin on it, you know, or, or do what you do, do best, okay? Critique, 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 critique. And uh, before you end this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and I will see you next video.